Get ready to match the stars. Nipsey Russell, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Ron Free's company, Suzanne Summers, Richard Dawson, and Patty Deutsch. As we play the star-studded big money match game 77. And now here's the star of match game 77, Gene Rayburn. Are you all quite ready to carry on? Oh, yes, yeah. I am be nervous. Scared. It's real easy. It is easy. Sure, yes, all right. Well, she gives me a little confidence here. <laughs> That's not confidence. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Bill, I got a quest on that. Oh, you speak many tongues. Yes. <laughs> what can I do for you? Hello? Nothing. Huh? Listen, you for me? What? Can I cut your bangs? No, thank you. No? no? thank you. Just a little bit? No, 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 no. Well, look in the camera. It doesn't make it nerve. Can you really see? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Can't hear either. Let's welcome Linda Tibbetts and Howard Lefkowitz. <laughs> now, Linda, <laughs> how are you? Terrific. Just terrific. <laughs> Just want to remind you, you didn't fix this, and I asked you to yesterday. You said you'd fix it, but you didn't. Now, Linda has won uh, $11,800. Isn't that terrific? <laughs> wow, we. And her husband is here, oh, her yes. sister and her mother. My daughter, Got my brother. Got a big rooting section out oh, here in our bet. studio audience, and she's very happy about that. She's being challenged now by a gentleman we're meeting for the first time, Mr. Howard Lefkowitz. We welcome you, sir. Thank Lefkowitz. You. Right. And you have a, a good luck talisman, do you? Yeah. <laughs> I hope. May I uh, touch? Sure, you can. Thank you, thank you. What is it? Miss Lucky, it says. What is it? It's a little well, kitten, right? That's it. Uh, my Irish little sisters, uh, Charlene and Sherry, gave me that, and they said, That'll take that on and no problems whatsoever. Going to bring you good luck, really? Yeah. Are they here with you? Uh, yeah. And uh, where do you live, uh, Howard? I'm from White Oak, Pennsylvania. And you're vacationing here? Yeah. Okay. Are you retired or do you work for a living? Uh, well, I'm an unemployed student. Oh. Uh, I don't have a job and I don't go to school. And that's where you're going to keep it, huh? I'd like to. Possibly. Smart. <laughs> very, very clever to do it that way, Howard. Okay, now we'll start this game right after we do a little business with America. So both of you get set, now this for you. Oh, wait, hold everything there. Just hang around there for a minute. There's a the lady. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> lady said, <laughs> you caught me. A sweet lady in the studio audience said she came all the way from Alaska to give me a kiss, and I was just about to do that when you interrupted me. Why don't you come up here and just let's get this over with. Now, get over here. Come over here. She really is from Alaska. Oh, is that the state flag? Yes, it is. Yes, now state what's your name? Roberta Burnham. Roberta, and what do you do up there? I work for a law firm. You're a legal secretary? No, I'm a part-time bookkeeper. I see. How is it up there? It's nice and warm right now. All right. Now listen, this is going to be a simple kiss, nothing fancy, because yeah, my wife rub... watches, you see. We rub noses. What? We rub noses. Oh. <laughs> Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
That rubbing noses is not bad. You know, have you ever tried that? Nine months from now, you get post-nasal drip. <laughs> Okay, let's begin now. Howard, you as a challenger have an option here of choosing A or B. Well, my sister said choose B first, so I'll go Why? with B. She didn't tell me that part. Oh, she, I see. All right, here we go. Harry and Gladys said, that justice of the peace is really mean. Oh. How mean is it? A little more rehearsal, John. When we asked him to join us together, he blanked us together. That's how mean he was. When we had, when we had the justice of the peace, tell me we had. Just as the peace is really mean, when we asked him to join us together, he blanked us together. Isn't that cute? It's adorable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Howard. Harry and Gladys said that Justice of the Peace is really mean. When we asked him to join us together, he blanked us together. All I can think of is uh, cuffed. Cuffed us together. I couldn't think of anything. Uh... Handcuffed us together. Yeah. All right. Should have listened to your sister. Yes, right. right. <laughs> what do you say? That wasn't mean at all. It wasn't mean. What was really he mean? He soldered us together. He soldered us together. <laughs> all right. What do you say? I say they've turned on Howard awfully early in the game. That's right. You better be very careful from now on, Howard. I'm sorry, I said glued. Glued is a good response. Chuck? I also said glued. Glued? That would be mean, that would hurt, especially, you know, your skin had come off when you tried to walk away or whatever. Right, Suzanne? I just follow the crowd. I said glued, too. Glued is a good answer. <laughs> Maybe the definitive response, yeah, if right? If you were right. glued, you would follow the crowd. Uh -huh. Right. <laughs> you couldn't help follow. Now, do not, you know, the answer, the, uh, the celebrity we're about to call on now, Howard, has been known to give some offbeat answers <laughs> and conceivably could say handcuffed. The dissident. Conceivably. One. Yes. Stapled. Stapled. <laughs> you got me there. Now, do you understand how it's done now? Uh, I'm figuring you did, it out, you, yeah. Uh, how, uh, you've been out of high school how long now? A couple of years? Yeah. Yeah. And you did this once in high school? Yeah, I did it in high school. Uh, I played Gene Rayburn. Oh, really? What high school was that? Sarah High School in McKeesport, Pennsylvania. McKeesport! McKeesport, yeah. Pennsylvania. Was, yeah. And, and you did uh, it in the uh, local assembly in the high school? Well, we did it for an improvisation class, and due to the nature of the questions, this is a Catholic school, uh, we were all suspended. Oh. Well, we'll let you hang around here for a little while longer. In the meantime, watch this message and then hurry back. See how we progress. Here we go. Let's carry on now. The other half of round one. Linda, this one is yours. Sally the cheerleader. Ah. Sally the cheerleader said, That gypsy fortune teller has an unusual style. Instead of looking at my hands, he told my fortune by reading my blanks. <laughs> She was a chiller and he was an Egyptian fortune teller. Gypsy fortune teller. Oh, gypsy. gypsy. Oh, gypsy. I thought you said Egyptian. <laughs> no, I didn't I say I had romance yeah. on the brain. She was a cheerleader. She was a Sally the cheerleader said that gypsy fortune teller had an unusual style. Instead of looking at my hands, he told my fortune by reading my blanks. Gypsy. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I just heard a little while ago yeah. that you and Don, your husband, are going to do an act. Yes. Where are you going to do this? At um, the Studio One back lot, August 23rd, and Is hopefully the 24th, yeah. the 25th. Oh, and the continuing. 26th, yeah. And we've got a great name for it. What's it called? The Patty Deutsch and Donald Ross. <laughs> Isn't that original? Yeah. Well, good luck with that. Thank you. I want to nice see. Well, I'll get the dates here. I'm going to write them down later, and I hope I'm going to be around so I can come and see and cheer and whistle and scream. What's the matter? And Aren't you well? What? Aren't you well? Yeah. You said you hoped you'll be around. Well, I mean, <laughs> see, I go back and forth uh, oh. between oh. here and the other coast. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right, Linda. Sally, the cheerleader, said that gypsy fortune teller had an unusual style. Instead of looking at my hands, he told my fortune by reading my blanks. Pom poms. Yeah. 
pom pom. She came up with a very nifty answer. A nifty answer. It was a little gypsy tea room, a fortune telling place. A lovely gypsy girl read my mind, then she slapped my face. Uh -huh. Pom pom. Uh huh. One for Linda. You know, speak to them about not being so quick with the buzzer until you hear the whole thing, because this probably is a match. I said tassels, or whatever those things are called on those things they carry. Right. Which is pom pom. Pom poms, the light lit up. Oh, very good. Yes. It should come out in hardcover. Pom pom. <laughs> there it is. Three for her. Well, she came up with the definitive answer, and people are responding to her. Are you responding to her, Suzanne? I was a cheerleader, pom poms. You were a cheerleader? You're kidding. At a Catholic girls' school. At a Catholic girls' school. Right. Where was that? Burlingame, California. Oh, Mercy okay. High School. You were a pom-pom 16 -pom girl. years Catholic school. Oh, really? <laughs> but what to cheer? What would you say? Go, girls, go. Go, girls, go. Yeah. You yeah, can hear it was that lonely. Almost any night from my room. <laughs> right. <laughs> pom pom. There it is. Fine for you now. Okay, Patty Deutsch, show us your pom poms. <laughs> okay. All right, she did. Oh, sick. You got them all. Now, Howard. Howard. What do you say we shoot the cat? <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> what do you say we shoot his sister? Yeah. Yeah, how about my sister? Your right. sister's the one, yeah. yeah. Now, Howard, you got one shot at it. You can match all six celebrities. You can achieve a tie and stay in the game and play a tiebreaker. And you have a choice of A or B. Uh, since I did so well with B, I'll go with A. All right. <laughs> Here it is. A little riddle for you. You ready for a riddle? We're ready for a riddle. What do horrible Hannah and a nose have in common? The answer, they both blank. <laughs> what do horrible Hannah and a nose have in common? The answer, they both blank. Yeah, I think so. That's a riddle. Go for it. Right. All right. As soon as Chuck is ready, we'll come over here to Howard Lefkowitz. Here we go. The little riddle for you, Howard. What do horrible Hannah and the nose have in common? The answer is they both blank. Blow. Blow. Oh. Well, that was one of the ones, you know. Blow and, and anything else connected with the nose. He said blow. That was his choice. Now, you've got to match everybody, Howard. Howard. Prove that you can goof with everything going for you. They both run and or drip. So that means Linda wins the game. What the rest of you have? Drip, drip. One blow and five drip. Okay. See what happened there? There was one blow and five drips. You would have lost anyway. You would have lost anyway, yeah. That's the way it goes. Yeah, that's right. You win some, you lose some. Yeah, well. Right. Okay, good luck in your unemployment career, Howard. Thank you. Pleasure Thank you. to have you. A lot of gifts will be coming your way here. So long, Howard Lefkowitz. Send a postcard. Now a little message for you. Hurry back, see how she does. Thank you. Here we are with Linda Tibbetts' who's won her fourth game, and now we'll try for the big money one more time. Ready? Ready. Here we go. We polled an audience not too long ago and said, write down your best answer to this. Return blank. Now, remember, you got $500 if you match their most popular answer, $250 for matching the second most popular answer, and then $100 for matching the third. And whom do you call on for some assistance? Charles, please. What do you say, Charles? I want to get a good one. Return. He'll, he'll think of one. No. Oh. Return, to, return to sender. Yeah. Return to sender. The post office stamp, Mark. Richard? Return to paradise. Return to paradise. West right. Covina. Right. <laughs> Brett. Return address. Return address. Okay, return address, return to paradise, and return to sender. Do you want one of those, or have you got a better idea clanging around in your head? No. I think I'll go with Charles's to sender. Return to sender. 
All right, let's see if it's up there. Let's begin down at the bottom and we will reveal the $100 response. Return of the oh. Pink Panther. Did you think of that? No. no I didn't think of that either. Yeah. Didn't know he was away. No, I, that's right. I didn't know he left either. May we see the $250 response? Return to sender it is. You pick up another $250. Very good. What do you think is on top, audience? Return address? Okay, may we see it, please? Return address. All right. Now, you've got another $250, you're up to $12,150, and you're gonna play for $2,500 at this moment, and that'll make you a little richer. Whom do you want to uh, make an attempt at matching on that? Please, Richard. Richard, please. Return to paradise. Return to paradise. You've had your chance with that, and you've blown it. All right, face me if you would, please, my dear, and Richard, here we go. Good luck to you. Blank Pond, P-O-N-D. Blank Pond, or Blank Pond. Linda, what answer would you like to give us right now which you think will match his? The answer Richard has written on that card. If you do match it, we give you $2,500. Blank Pond. My first response is Walden's Pond. Walden's Pond. Henry Thoreau's famous hangout in New Hampshire. A great American. He, he hung out around over there. I swear that was my very first response. Walden's Pond. That's too hip. Never, too hip. Never so you say, threw it away and you put fish pond. Fish pond. <laughs> well, these two intellectuals out intellectualed each other, yeah. didn't they? Yeah. And that's right. I thought, yeah. well, maybe not. It was really a very hip in answer, yeah. Walden's Pond. So you thought of that. Did you, what did you think of second? Yeah. I didn't. Uh, you didn't. Think Went right with I it. Lily Pond, that wouldn't have been bad either. We don't say lilies on this show. Well, anyway, Linda, you're up to $12,150. You're going to meet a new player. Here comes Renee Happy. Okay, back on the merry-go-round. Renee, we welcome you. Thank you. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, where are you from? California. You're Californian? Born and raised. Yes. And do you work or do anything constructive? I'm a working girl and I'm married and I have a little boy too named Shane. He's wonderful. Yes. <laughs> and I love him dearly. <laughs> That's nice. Well, we welcome you and wish you the very best of luck here. Thank this you. lady's had a lot of luck already. She's got I over $12,000. And you have a choice here of A or B, Renee. Uh, B, please. You want B? Mm -hmm. You sure? No, but I'll pick it anyway. Okay, she wants B. When Howdy Doody went into the puppet workshop, he had an accident with the electric sander. Oh, dear. Oh, Poor oh, Howdy. Oh, 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 it's a heartbreaking He question. sanded his blank off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Those heartbreaking questions are too hard for me. I just get all emotional. Yes. yes. I heard it. I yes. Patty Deutsch and Donald Ross, eh? All right. Almost ready, Renee. I'll read it while they're finishing up. When Howdy Doody went into the puppet workshop, he had an accident with the electric sander. Poor Howdy. <laughs> Say aw, aw. aw. <laughs> Poor Howdy. He sanded his blank off. Freckles? Freckles. Howdy Doody was famous for his freckles. I had forgotten about that. So he sanded his freckles off, she said. Yeah, before he could get to his freckles, he had to file his nose down. His nose. <laughs> sanded his nose off. What do you say? I think that's a terrific erudite answer. Unfortunately, I said nose. Yeah. Freckles is quite good. Yeah. I'm sorry, Jerry. I said wooden rear. Wooden rear. <laughs> Not erudite, but an answer. <laughs> Renee Haffey is looking for a freckle here, Suzanne. Give her one of your freckles. It would be very painful. It would. They... A limb. Yeah. Sanded a, he sanded his limb off. <laughs> well, <laughs> whatever. Okay. My, uh, <laughs> Richard? My <clears throat> answer, judges, would remove freckles, so please keep an open mind. I said face. <laughs> That's they did keep an open mind, mind yeah. and closed it. Uh, did you judges, hear it snap? 
judges, I, t I take your ruling. Now go sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would remove your freckles. Certainly. And now you. You are ready. I said his phono doodle, also known as his nose. Nose! A lot of noses there, Renee, but no freckles, sorry to say. So there you are with your first rounder. Now we've got a little business for you if you hurry back. Ladies, uh, we have to put you in cold storage here until tomorrow, and we hope to see you both then. See me. You will come back. <laughs> oh, yes. Of course you will. And you too will come back. I'm sleeping yeah. over. You are going to good, because it'll be very lonely out here without you. I mean, I'd have to run around and fill in all the cards, and oh, I don't know how to play this game. Yes. Do it. Yeah. Let's see now. Have we done all of the plugs that we're supposed to do here? We the didn't whiz? count her freckles. No, that's a little makeup. A little, come to my dressing room and do a little body makeup on you. Gene Rayburn here. Join us next time for Match Game 77. Tally Ho! <laughs> This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game 77, a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. Stay tuned for Tattletales next over most of these CBS stations.